We will let uh, Lance Briggs and Alex Brown jump in here now as uh, we welcome them to the stage. And, of course, they will have even more as soon as we're done here. Briggs and Brown coming your way as well. Um, but I think to Carm's point there, as we keep this conversation going, I would have loved to see the um, the – all 22 look. I thought CBS did a terrible job of showing us the replay on the Leatu Latu uh, strip sack. Well, it, it seemed fairly obvious that the two tight ends on the left just couldn't make that block. However, that being said, like to Carm's point, he was just saying, like, maybe I'll go to you on this. He has confidence that when Caleb drops back there, that something good might happen. Yes, there's a chance he might turn it over too. I never saw the look of like who actually might have been open downfield. They never really they showed never us showed that. Them. But it was like same thing. Like I like the play action taking a shot mm-hmm. in that situation. They just couldn't protect. And then I guess we'll just have to wait until we can actually see the all 22 to know if anybody was open there. Uh, but obviously that was the biggest play of the game. Yeah, that, that was huge play. Um, and it, it bothers me a little bit because the first thing I hear is, uh, well, Caleb's holding the ball too long. Well, shit, there's a certain amount of time you have to hold the ball to allow the play to develop. And if we can't get two we'll of our it. tight ends to block one defensive end, then that's a problem in itself. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we, we have to be able to hold guys accountable for doing their job. Unfortunately for Caleb, unfortunately for um, Roma Dunze, for DJ, for Cole Komet, other guys have to do their job in order for you to do your job. And that sucks. For me as a defensive end, I don't give a damn if y'all do y'all job or not. If I get to the quarterback, it's a wrap. It don't matter. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what, what happens. Now, sometimes the guy to my left wouldn't do his job and he oh. kind of make my job harder. But because he did damn, so I many pay, other Apparently, I did my job well enough. But I, I'm, I'm about to get there. I did I'm my job to well there. enough to get to these. I'm uh, about these to seven, get there. Pro Bowls and three yeah. oh. Pros. Oh. But apparently. Oh. And nominated for but, a Hall of Fame. But, but I always Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I was getting there. <laughs> <laughs> the guy to my left is so freaking amazing. <laughs> like. Listen, like for real, like we, so I play, I'm, and I have no problem saying this. I played weak side defensive end. I don't mean I'm weak. Okay. Y'all think I'm weak. I ain't weak, uh-uh. but I played weak side defensive end. And I played weak side line. Yes, he did. So we played a lot on the same side. So we really had to be on the same page. And when y'all see us up here, like a lot of the stuff that Lance like says, I'm thinking about because I had to, yeah. right? So we had to be on the same page no matter what. And this happens in a 4-3 defense where you see right now we just have sweat. And sweat switches from one side to the other. Mm-hmm. You never saw, ever. I'm not playing left end. That's Wale. That's Adewale, Adewale Ogunle. Okay. That's him. I don't Come play left end. He got that. I'll play right end, and then I'll give him shit for playing the lesser tackle, the right tackle. <laughs> I'm going to play the left tackle, the guy that's getting paid all the money. <laughs> And you could go play the other side. Dang, but I didn't want the other side. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, didn't, I didn't want the other side because, because of this reason. Because I'm 250 pounds, and I don't want to have to go against a tackle and a tight end. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. I'm going to get body slammed over there. <laughs> I don't want that. But some of you were talking about, uh, you know, the linebacker making your job right. We talked about yeah. this upstairs. You have to be decisive about what you do, 100%. especially in this attacking style defense. If yep. we're getting up the field, Alex, as defensive linemen, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter if we get reached or not. Lance or, or yep. Lack are going to make us right. And yep. that's the problem now. They're looking. They're and playing peek- peekaboo. You cannot yep. play peekaboo we in this type of that. system. You're mm-hmm. never going to be right. So be decisive about what yes. you're going to do. If you get reached, get penetration. I know, I know you got something to say on this, but Lance said it up there when we were watching the game about how we played. He and I, yeah. how we played this game, it was always exactly what you're saying. When you make a decision, stay there. Just stay there. Don't don't come back. And I don't know who in here, so I'm sorry, all right? Already. <laughs> but don't peek here and fucking come your ass back. Don't do that. <laughs> don't no, do no, it. Don't do yeah. that. Because that makes that, that, that puts a hole in the defense. Yeah. So if I'm here, if I'm uh, – so I'm – Moving the tackle like um like he's a little itty bitty guy, right? So I got the tackle here, right? So I'll, I'll be here. here. Lance is I'm he's here sh- screaming mm. downhill. Yep. But if I go here, then we're both in the same yeah. yeah. now, 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 now the run back get cash. How Jonathan people say that happened to him. Yeah, right? He was waiting behind there. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly broke out. The the running back, 
the running back all he's, he's like water. Yep. He always finds the crease. He always finds the crack, right? So wherever it is, he's gonna find it. And that's where he hits the is downhill. So if I stay in my gap and let and allow Lance to hit that gap, then I'm good. Now it, Lovey, Lovey came to me after the old four season. After the old four season. And we're in this, we're in the same defense. Obviously, Lovey's gonna be here. So we're in that O four defense, and we have had a lot of success. And then he asked me the question afterwards. Was saying, well, what do you think you can do better? Well, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of doing my job. I don't know. What, what do you want me to do? I don't know the answer to that question because I'm I got a C gap. I'm in the C gap. Lance got the B gap. Yep. <laughs> well, what if what if you can close that gap off so there's no B gap? Right now we got essentially now we got two Lan- two Brian Erlachers or two Lance Briggs just running sideline to sideline. How much better does that make our defense? If you just do your job a little bit better, well, you close that B gap off so Lance don't have to worry about that B gap. Mm-hmm. You still got the C gap, yep. right? And now he can just he can just run. Yep. And once we got that, and people started to do more than their job required, mm-hmm. then we became that 05 We became that number one defense in the league. And coming down to the defensive line real yep. quick, it all comes down to get off. What I see now is a little bit inconsistent with the get off, yes. especially in the run game, right? 100%. Because getting off the football and getting penetration sets the edge. Mm-hmm. And that's what they're failing to do. They're sometimes mm-hmm. going up there and catching your blocks. This is not a read a read and react no. defense, right? Mm-hmm. You get off the football. Yep. You set the line of scrimmage. You set your gap through penetration. Yep. And there's just so much inconsistency, especially like Jervon Dexter. Yep. Very talented. Um Sometimes gets off high, doesn't get off the football, mm-hmm. but when he does, he does it well. So I think yes. if there's consistency there, because the three technique is the engine that runs this. 100%. Tommy Harris, Henry Melton, all these yep. really talented three techniques, yep. they were the ones that set the tone. Mm-hmm. And even back to when Rod coached Warren mm-hmm. Sapp. Warren Sapp, yeah. The, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald, yeah. right? 100%. J.J. Watt, right? A yeah. little different yes. scheme, but play three technique most of the yep. time. Yeah. That's the engine that runs this defense. Jervon Dexter has that capability, but it's about consistency because at mm-hmm. Florida – Unfortunately, the coach over there had him getting off the ball high, getting yep. off slow, created bad habits. I know Big E, Coach Washington, is trying to get him mm-hmm. corrected. But I think what we need to see is a little bit more consistent. Get a lot off. of bad habits he created at, at Florida. Exactly. Yep. And, and it, it's hard go. to get away from Here that. he go. Here he go. <laughs> see? see? Any chance he can do that. That's my little <laughs> boy. Yes. Listen, the swamp, the swamp will do that to you. All right? <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, Javon, Javon was allowed to do that stuff because he made yep. plays, right? So if you make plays, you're allowed to get away with stuff that's probably not going to help you at the next level. Right. Yep. But once you get to the next level, you have to learn. Yep. You have to understand that this stuff. Yeah, yep. I made that play against Vanderbilt. Yep. I made that play against Kentucky. Yeah, I can't make that play against Walter Jones. Houston, Walter Jones. <laughs> like we talked about, I right? can't make that play against Houston. That's what's happening with, that play. with Caleb so, yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. I think that's Agreed. a transition for Caleb 100%. right now. That yes. There's things that I was able to do in high school and in college that I cannot mm-hmm. cannot do here at the at the at the NFL level. Yep. These are the best of the best, and it's it's different. Mm-hmm. It's different. Those windows are small. You're you throw that ball up, it, it better be accurate. It mm-hmm. better be accurate, and it better be with the right velocity mm-hmm. and the right timing. Because if not, these guys, I mean, it's like blood in the water with sharks. Yeah, sharks just, I mean, he, what he did, what he did for so long, and it's coming back to bite him. He ran away from the SEC, yep. and the SEC is all the NFL. So it's coming back to bite him. That's all. I mean, if you had just gone to the SEC from wow. from the beginning, he, he'd be he'd be used to this, you know. Yeah. So that's just that's but what some, it, some he of the went throws. That Pac-12 stuff, <laughs> and then they canceled the whole Pac-12. Like, yeah, okay. But some what of those throws, the, the the first pick he threw, right? That's something in college he yes. probably could have got away with. Mm-hmm. Right behind the behind the old lineman, yep. go like that. Yep. All of a sudden, mm-hmm. things happen well, so much quicker. How about the like, one yes. to Rome? I mean, yeah. that actually was going right to Rome's chest. Yeah. But yes. these DBs are so fast that yeah, they're, they're, there's two of them there, and one of them still got his hand in there to break mm-hmm. it up. Turns into an interception. Everything mm-hmm. happens yeah. that much yep. faster at this so level. So even when you yeah. throw it accurately, that window, the windows are just so different at this level. Exactly. Yeah. So, the windows are different. His his decision making has to be different because when we really look at okay. that play, yeah. and mm-hmm. yeah, it was an interception, but. He's still with double covered. Yes. You know, so, th- so, if, so if you got one guy got double covered and you're staring and you got down this guy, you, there's somebody one on one. Let's give him that opportunity. And that guy, okay, his job is to assure Caleb that the confidence in him that he can make that play during practice. Yep. Right. So then practice, 
when they come to you and you they throw you that ball at practice, you have to catch that ball so Caleb feels comfortable throwing that ball to you in the game. Or he's just going to go back to the guy you feel comfortable you, to. You, in, a, in a pass drop, you it tops out at four seconds. I think four seconds is actually – Long. Oh, that's, that's, that's really too long. long. That's too long. Yeah. Too long. That's really. disrespectful. That's you know, disrespectful. Yeah. So, in that, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's disrespectful. You know, right. in, that, in, that, in, that, in that four second range, you know, defenses we're looking at where the quarterback is going. Mm -hmm. All right, now, smart quarterback, you're going to come off. You're going to come off for that drop. You're going to look the opposite way when you set yeah. up. Then you go to your look. But in that, in that, in, in that mill of seconds or hundredth of a second. We're looking at where that quarterback's going, and when that quarterback turns and looks where he's going, or if he looks down his receivers the entire time, we're getting a jump now. We're jumping right now. We're looking. We're peeking, and we're going right to where that quarterback is taking us. And if he's looking him down, he throws that ball. That ball comes out of his hands. We're going to go get it. Yeah. And don't you guys think the rhythm and timing between him and the receivers is a little bit off? It's off. Some yeah. of those, right? Some of those, even if he, he threw it ahead of time mm -hmm. on schedule, those should those should be either either batted down or the or the wide receiver should get that at that point. Yes. It's just the rhythm and timing, the trust isn't there. DJ Moore and him not on the same page early. Cole Komet. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't seem like they're on the same page. Yeah. I think it has a lot to do with the offensive line too. I mean, mm -hmm. if you the, the quarterback, as much as we don't want him to respond, the? hold on, hold on. <laughs> as much as we don't the, want him, the wait look, a minute. The look, Lance. Wait a minute. Baby. As much as we don't want the quarterback to respond to being hit constantly, it's human nature. Like, yes, you're gonna throw the ball a little sooner than you want to. You're gonna you're gonna hold the ball a little sooner, like a longer than you want to. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is listen, cry. This is spoken like a true lineman right there. All right. No, no, no. Listen, this is spoken. The, the timing, no, you stop the it. Timing, you stop. The timing between the quarterback and the receivers. Listen. That's work. That's seven on seven work right there. Mm -hmm. That's seven on seven yeah. work. You don't need your offensive line now. Yes, it is going to affect. That's all I'm saying. It, it is going to affect. All I'm saying is it's about quarterbacks' the timing in mind. However, however, the the routes and where you're supposed to be, you throw to a point. Quarterbacks are taught to throw to a point, not to a man. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you're supposed to mm -hmm. break on a slant, I'm throwing to a point where this slant, where that window is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pre-read and I'm going to see where this linebacker is, mm -hmm. and between that linebacker and who I. Who, if they're in cover three, that linebacker, whoever the uh, the strong safety or whoever that that uh that flat dropper is, I know where my first window is. So when I catch the ball, boom, I know where I'm throwing that window. Okay, that's and that ball is coming out within within a second or two seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's quick. That's something you have to understand. And that that doesn't take offensive line to affect. And, and when he has anything. two, and when he has two picks at the end of the day. You you looking at me like why you got I got two picks? <laughs> uh, you should hear these two. I know. Hey, hey, the good news is you get to hear more of this. Uh, as soon as we're done here, Briggs and Brown coming up uh, for a full show. Can't yeah. wait to hear it. That was an awesome breakdown too of what was kind of going wrong defensively uh -huh. today because you could see that, but you guys broke it down really really well. So hey, Briggs and Brown coming up. Uh, make sure, especially if you're watching our stream. By the way, over six thousand people watching right now on CHGO. We appreciate it. Hit. The subscribe button. Also, if you're here in the crowd and for some reason you're not subscribed to CHGO, do the same thing. Help us grow the channel. We greatly appreciate it. Guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Absolutely. Thank uh you. We all silly like the mayor.